welcome to our final instalment of Making of Main Time at the Movies. Yes. You see that book? Yes. I'm going to move my phone while you're moving stuff. We're going to be looking at a little bit about the process of how we put together some of the videos that you'll get to see in tomorrow's concert. We decided to reach out to the whole chorus to get their ideas on these videos. We split the chorus up into four different groups and gave them each one of the four songs that we are doing. These four groups then came up with their own plan for the video that they had been assigned and we then used that plan to create the videos for our concert. One of the main briefs they had really was to make sure that it wasn't just another straightforward virtual choir video, kind of like what we had done before, what we've seen a lot of the chorus doing, lots of boxes all across the screen and just people singing to camera. We wanted to maybe incorporate that a little bit at some points, but also try and move away from that and try and explore some creative ideas of what we could do with our videos. Once each group would come up with their plan, they then uh, distributed the instructions to all of the chorus members on how to record the different parts of the videos that they wanted. We always also wanted to make sure that for someone that had less time, they would still be able to be a part of the video by taking part in a smaller part of the video um, that was easier to record uh, and not some of the stuff that might have been more complicated and time consuming so we could make sure it was inclusive to the whole chorus. These instructions tended to include some of the uh, boring details as well as all of the exciting ones. Uh, so the boring details being things like making sure that the videos were in the right format, making sure they were like a portrait or landscape depending on what we wanted. There'd be details about how to make sure you're well lit, what backgrounds you should have, um, which got more and more creative depending on what uh, the group wanted out of their plan. Some of the instructions were really specific, uh, talking about specific bars in the piece of music, maybe sitting down on the sofa on a specific beat of the specific bar, and then others were more kind of generic, uh, just kind of do some generic household chores whilst listening to the chorus. This allowed some uh, more exciting ideas to come from some of the members in the chorus that maybe we wouldn't have thought about in the, in the groups. We also used green screens in some of the videos, but making sure that we had uh, scope for anyone that didn't have a green screen to also take part in the videos. So they were used sparingly, but every so often we would uh, use them for different effects that we wanted. specific dance moves that guys could sign up for to have a go at doing and learning at home. So we had different instructional videos on how to do that, that some of them definitely evolved uh, as we went through finding little uh, things to tweak and make better. And using those we were then able to create the dance moves that we see in one of the videos tomorrow. Four, and one, two, three, four, and one. Two. Basically all on our left foot, right foot's just for balance. You want to keep your weight on your left foot for the next two beats. And rather than uh, picking a specific bit of the song to make sure that you're in time to, we actually, a lot of us just did it to a metronome and just did it over and over again so that one of the takes would be good. And then when editing it together, we can pick the best parts of each one so they look nice on the screen. For one of our videos, but it only takes a moment, we used um, part of our virtual retreat as we split it up into lots of different sessions to be led by one of our music team on a performance exercise for that song. So the first 45 minutes of that retreat exercise was a presentation. Of the three circles, this is most commonly used for screen acting, um, but on stage this can be, or when we are performing in these sort of songs, it can be really, really powerful. Okay, circle one helps the actor explore their character's personal thoughts and feelings. So thinking about your own thoughts internally. Then the second 45 minutes was to actually go away and do the filming of it so that we had that input and then immediate um, action on that. The groups also had to look at whether maybe there's a narrative behind the videos. So making sure there's a story throughout. Is it going to be the story mainly attached to the music that we're doing with the song? Um, or is it going to be actually what we're doing in the video that might not be necessarily as attached to the, the original meaning of the song? Or maybe we're going to try and capture some of the essence from the original movie uh, into um, our version of the song. Hello everyone, my name's Isaac and I sing Barry's Home with Mean Time Chorus. We want to say a huge thank you to all of you for supporting us during this past year. 
by tuning into our online concerts, our taste rehearsals, and through sharing our social media posts with your family and friends. We're always on the lookout for new singers to join our group. Um, if you or someone you know would like to find out how you can get in touch with us about our induction process, then please contact us through meantimechorus at gmail.com. We would love to hear from you. All the best and many thanks. When it came to the video editing process, we tried to share it out amongst a few of the members that were happy to give it a go um, and download some software and have a go at putting some of these things together. I think we've all found that mostly uh, video editing seems to be just staring at a blue bar across the screen waiting for things to be rendered. Um, but there is some enjoyment of the process when you eventually get to the end of that rendering. I think our tips um, for making sure that things go to plan is just make sure that you've actually kind of storyboarded it out, like written down somewhere on a piece of paper, this scene into this scene into this scene, and I'm going to cut to these people singing, and I'm going to cut to these people singing. I think it helps you in the flow using that software, otherwise it could be a little bit daunting to kind of look at it and just be like, it's blank, what am I going to do? I've got all these videos, make sure you've got a plan uh, beforehand and literally draw it out so you know exactly what you're aiming for. Thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed our making of series for our concert that's now tomorrow. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow night at Meantime at the Movies.